All right, everybody, welcome back to our Arcanum series. So we are uh, done here in the the Wheel Clan caverns, with the exception of one thing. We did get the item that we were supposed to find. Uh, so we get this train, and this is uh, a quest item. So let's go turn in that quest item before we do anything else. All right, so we're back at the level... Uh, I forget which floor this is, but at the place where we need to turn in the quest to retrieve the heirloom. So I believe it's Vagrant. Let's talk to him. Good day, do you have a moment? Um, I found your heirloom. Awesome. <laughs> Why the toy wagon? Uh, it's been stranded for a thousand years. That's awesome. Alright, so... Here we go. Quest completed. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is go to... Let's see, let's look at our map here. Alright, so we have the quest to go to Stillwater, which is right here. Uh, this is where we need to go in order to find out where the uh, Elf City Kintara is. So, there's not much else we can do. We can go talk to Gilbert Bates in Tarant, and he will give us more money. Um, or we can just continue on, and he'll give us money later on when we see them again. I'm just going to head over to Stillwater, and then we will start there. All right, here we are in the town of Stillwater, and this is where we're supposed to find out where the the city of Kintara is. Um, so there are several quests we could do here. Uh, the first one we could just go in here, talk to this guy. This is uh, Richard Leakes. He's the blacksmith. Uh, greetings, Richard. Tell me about Stillwater. Uh, what is there to see around here? And you want to ask him about what makes the weapons unique. And then you want to ask him, uh, do you enchant the weapons as well? And he uh, says, no, it's a guy named Cyrus. Then he says, come to think of it, uh, what day is it? Uh, I sure hope he's doing all right. And so he, his friend was supposed to meet him yesterday, but he hasn't. And you can just say, I, I will look in on him for, for you. Sounds like a fair trade. All right. Goodbye. Uh, you can sell stuff to him and buy stuff from him. He is a blacksmith. So that's one place we can go. Uh, the next place we can go is here. And this is the Temple of Gestiana. This is one of their priests. Um... You just, uh, you're in quite a mood, aren't you? It's kind of you to say so, but I know I'm not being as loving as our goddess wishes. Uh, so somebody stole their idol. So their idol's stolen. Uh, that's terrible. Uh, you can say I could try to find it for you. And there you go. She just says she'll give you a blessing. And it's pretty much plus one to beauty. So you have yourself a deal. I'll be off then. That's the second quest. Now let's go talk to uh, one of the guys up here. I believe it's this guy right here. I might ask your name. Uh, Gildor Nightwalk. Okay. I am Mighty Scon. Uh, Anything to you know? Oh, he gives a he gives a lot of our tips about the area, which is great. Um, then you ask him if you have any work for him. All right. Um, he wants to know somebody who has a great ability to uh, be stealthy. So it requires great stealth, which is our. Um, Prowling ability, and we don't have prowling ability. You can say, uh, I made them more stealthy than I appear, or you can just tell him uh, you are correct. 
And he says, uh, I have no work for you, but you can also say, okay, wait, uh, tell me the task and let me judge my capabilities. All right, so he is going to tell you a tale and the tale to sum it up is uh, a group of people went to try to find a, uh, to uh, sum up this story, uh, what happened was he and some companions of his were clearing out a cave full of lizard men for a local town, and they found a chest, and the chest was hard to open up, and with, they thought it was going to be something important in there, but they wound up finding a book inside of it. And he says, uh, here, I still have the book, and he wants us to read the book and then to talk to him again when we're done with it. So to sum up the book now, uh, it's about a farmer who recorded an entry about his son being missing, who later found him in a clearing, and he saw a jewel in an altar. So his son ran for the jewel, and a beast killed him instantly. The farmer ran and never returned to that place. Now we talk to him again. I uh, finished the book. Fascinating. Okay, so now we get to hear the story from the guy now, and he says that his comrades were, they all went to the place in the clearing. His friend saw the ruby, ran towards it, and he shouted, you know, remember the beast? And they all died um, pretty fast. And he went up to one of the stones and read it. The stone pretty much said that you can sneak to the ruby and then retrieve it. So he left and then went to still water. Now you just say, I'll retrieve it for you. So he marks our map with the location of the ruby. And now we know where to go to retrieve it. It is in the far north of the map and we are not able to get there just yet. We have to go to Kintara first. All right, so now we talk to this guy in here. Uh, that's an, he's an elf, elf noble. And he actually knows where Kintara is. I was hoping you could help me. Uh, what do you wish to know? Guess where the elven city of Kintara is. Uh, Kintara, you see Kintara? Yes. Uh, Kintara, you're an elf. <laughs> have you lost your mind? No, I have not. I'm just not from around here. Imagine that, the elf who does not know the location of Kintara. It is not possible. Truly do not know the location, sir. I'm not from this continent. Of course, an elf from a distant land has arrived to my doorstep in seeking the directions of Kintara. It happens every day. It is true. Now, please, I need the location. It's in the forest. Even the fools know that. Uh, where? Where in the forest? In the trees. Okay, so why is it so important that you find Kintara, if you don't mind me asking? No, I don't mind at all that you ask. So why is it so important? Let him wait. Let him wait. Well, are you going to tell me or not? Uh, I said I don't mind you asking, not that I'd tell you. Ah, very good, a man, after my own heart. Kintara, yes, I know where it is. Tell me where it's located. Hmm, elves just don't go revealing that information at the drop of a hat, but I can sympathize with your plight. I'll show you where Kintara lies, but you first must prove your worth. How do I do that? I'm not quite sure you'd be up to it. Uh, this is a rite of passage for young elves, a cultural tradition, very old and very difficult. I can do it. Uh, you must bring me the pelt of the mystical Stillwater Giant. Only then will I entrust you with the location of the Mother City. Or what can you tell me of it? It's an ancient mystical creature from a time before the Age of Legends. A fearsome beast reputed to have magical powers. Where might I find this giant? So he recommends uh, that we talk to Stanley Xavier Hippington. He's a local expert on the Stillwater Giant. Alright, goodbye.
So we have this quest now to... In order to find out where Kantara is, we have to do a quest for him. And part of that quest is to talk to this guy up here. Alright, so this is Xavier. Let's talk to him. Uh, hey, good day to you, sir. I'm about to ask your name. It's Stanley Xavier Hippington, renowned cryptozoologist at your service. Uh, I hear the man speak about the Stillwater Giant. That is correct. Uh, he has made tracking the beast his life's work. What is it, actually? It's a Gigantopithecus arcanus. Uh, extremely primitive species of giant, thought to be extinct for over 25,000 years. Rather strange offshoot of the Gigantopithecus Guinness. So it's pretty much a Bigfoot. Or a Yeti. Strange in what way? Has the ability to shapeshift. I need to capture it. Alright. Uh, why the need for Big Game Hunter? Couldn't you do it yourself? So he gives us a special trap that will let us uh, capture the beast. And it's actually a small trap. Um, and he tells us about its ability to shapeshift into a small blue rabbit. Alright, so it tells us that the cave entrance is on the path behind uh, the cabin here. Okay. So now we can go do that really quick. Okay, so we need to uh, put on the trap. There we go. We caught. We captured it. So the water trap is full. This is kind of a pain in uh, painful quest because um, you don't wind up actually completing it the way you think you do. So, but it's it's good because it opens up the door for a future quest where you do encounter the Stillwater Giant in the correct manner. Capture the giant. Yes, yes, I see. Excellent. Now we need authentication. Uh, he wants us to go to Tarant, and then we can uh, bring it to Doctor Tristan, who is a part of the Tarant Zoological Society, and he will help us. Uh, you will help us get the actual uh, thing authenticated. Okay. So that's uh, a quick side quest. Um, let's go to Tarant. We could do that later. Let's first complete the uh, side quests for this town, though. Which a lot of them are pretty easy to do. Let's first go talk to our wizard friend. Whose house is up in the corner here? Okay, so this is where the Cyrus the Wizard is. This is the quest that we took from the blacksmith. You see, there's lots of pools of blood here, and there's some uh, footprints. So, to follow the footprints, they kind of fade in and out the mud and the snow. So, here's the mud part, and here they are continued in the snow. And eventually we come to a cave. Alright, so here's the cave. 
Uh, there's a lot of dead bones here. There's a lot of stuff in here too. You can get some uh, interesting things in here. There's the wizard. Are you the wi Cyrus the wizard? Richard Leake sent me to find you. Richard, bless that man. I'll enchant everything that man owns if you get me out of here. I was captured by Drog Blacktooth, an old ogre that's lived in these parts for years. He's never bothered me before, but I guess he got hungry. He said he was going to out to something to spice up the soup. Please get me out of here. Okay, so just say I, I'll uh, get you out of there in a second. And we can go fight uh, the ogre, which should appear here very soon. There he is. He should be pretty easy to kill. He's level 30, I think. Yeah. And he's gone. He has a key on him. Uh, breed. What is it that you want him? Oh, he's got f so much stuff in his inventory. Okay, we'll uh, take care of that. Let's go turn in that quest. I found Cyrus. There we go. I'll be leaving. He did give us a uh, still water blade, which is pretty interesting. It's got summon animal. Let's sell some stuff to him first. Okay, so the next quest, which is uh, to help the priestess, we will need to go to the pub. Just uh, talk to people. Uh, we need to find about rumors about um, different people. So here's the one you need to find. It's uh, have you heard about uh, Marley? Living in Stillwater must agree with him. He's become a sought after friend and lover to the women. Strange when no one used to like him at all. Okay. So now we know that uh, Marley has somehow become increasingly popular. So Marley's house is down here. He's kind of. Uh, there he is right here. Here's Marley. 
Now, I don't think we're going to be able to convince him to give up the idol, so we might actually have to kill him. Definitely want to save before you do that. It's obvious to anyone you look like uh, you have stole the idol. Okay, he's dead. There's the idol. Let's go return it to the priestess. There we go. We'll have to uh, do uh, pay tribute in a later time. So we have to do that quest no matter what. There's one more little side note we want to do here. Go to the pub. I'm sorry, the inn. And talk to the innkeeper. And he'll give us a book. Then we can uh, read the book. It tells us that uh, Order of the Dead, Darien Ka. Two things that we actually know about because of the guy we saved in the ancient temple. Okay, so we have our quest done here. Uh, with the exception of the Stillwater Giant one. So we need to do this one. And then there, we have this other one here that we can't do just yet. Uh, the one where we retrieve the the uh, ruby. So let's go to Tarant now and trigger the Stillwater Giant quest. Alright, so now we are in... Uh, Tarant and in the top corner of the city So here's uh, Gilbert Bates's mansion Just to the north of that you'll see this uh, area right here So this is the zoological society. So we have to go in here and deliver the guy the rabbit Alright, so this is Dr. Fenwick. It says, haha, blue rabbit. That's that's funny. Um So you uh, say, I need a pelt of one, and you can tell him, or he tells you to go to H.D. Parnell's museum, and you can buy it from uh, him. Okay. So essentially that didn't work out very well, so let's talk to H.T. Parnell now. Alright, so we are at H.T. Parnell's house. Uh, I guess this 
place of business. So it's just south of the Gilbert Bates house across the bridge. And in here, we talk to him. So you tell him I would like to purchase the pelt of the Stillwater Giant. I couldn't part with it for less than tails and coins. There we go. All right. Let's head back to the guy in uh, Stillwater. All right, so here we are, um, Mirth. We have the fake Stillwater pelt, Stillwater giant pelt. He's uh, just where did you get it? Uh, you could just tell him I actually stole it from H.T. Parnell Museum in Durant. Ah, very good. You're a tricky one, and you're a good sport as well. So he does give us the location of Kintara. My sister, thanks, sir. There we go. So now if we look at uh, where Kintara is, we have to go through Harden Pass and then go to Kintara. So that's um, Harden's Pass will let us access the other side of the world, essentially. So we can do that in the next episode. For now, that's going to be it. Uh, we've wrapped up everything in Stillwater uh, that we can do, and I hope to see you in the next episode. I appreciate you watching. Thanks again, and goodbye.